Welcome to quite possibly the worst tank I've ever played, or at least in the last six months in terms of the new premium tanks that have come into World of Tanks console. This one is, to all intents and purposes, very, very poor, at least from what I've experienced so far. And so my initial kind of review of the tank for you guys, wanting the quick answer, should you buy this tank? The answer is kind of maybe, but... For the most part, I don't think that this tank is particularly as good as maybe I thought it would be. Obviously, we thought, uh, given that it's an autoloader, it's, well, auto-reloader, it would be able to be pretty decent. However, the problems that I find with this tank are the speed of it. The speed of this tank is is beyond bad comparatively um, to a lot of the other medium tanks it plays like a heavy and I mean in some regards it has slight heavy armor at least when you look at the turret but in all other kind of regards this thing is nowhere near heavy level you do not bounce anything off of the hull armor of this tank which makes it very painful when you come up against tanks that have the ability to just auto aim you if you're coming up against other medium tanks you're going to be taking consistent damage when playing in the AMBT and that is why for my personal review I just don't think for anyone that is kind of new to the game anyone that's kind of in the mid-range if you've had a decent amount of experience I probably wouldn't recommend this it's only really for veteran players and even then like if you're wanting a competitive tank this just isn't it like the reload of the tank is so long to the point where yes you have 1000 1900 dpm but that is taken into account the fact that you are going to be constantly firing with only the single shot and so as soon as you start delving into the lower rounds uh, within your magazine you end up actually with such a low dpm that it makes it very difficult to avoid being caught in scenarios where people just know that you're reloading uh, so yeah it's a very very niche tank i think in terms of this one the ambt you can see in this replay we've kind of done okay i mean we've lost half of our health which was absolutely terrible to the g saw which is to all intents and purposes is probably a better version of this tank i would much rather play in the g saw than this one um but i mean if you're interested in your auto reloaders and think that you're going to be able to make this one work then for 7300 gold i think it is it might be worth it for you but i think if you haven't played any auto loaders if you haven't played an auto reloader this is not the place to start this is absolutely not the place to start and the key certain kind of negatives i find with this tank in particular is that you have such a, a weird loadout in terms of you have to reload for so long but equally you're not doing that much damage when you do decide to pump out the entire clip and considering that your lowest like clip damage or your low or your furthest in round it still takes you like 10 seconds to fully reload and when you're only doing 300 damage per shot well 360 to be precise it feels very lacklustre and although you can see here we're able to rack up quite a bit of damage in quick succession against the tiger we now have to reload for about 40 seconds so yeah weigh that up you're dealing what a thousand damage to the tiger if you landed all of the shots and because the accuracy of this tank is pretty mediocre trying to actually hit with this thing is is in itself super annoying and you end up missing around and that at that point you're literally trading one round which is costing you uh, probably like 12 seconds minimum uh, or maybe 10 seconds I might be over exaggerating that but it's costing you about 10 seconds and if you're in the lowest clip well if you're in the furthest in clip it's going to cost you 15 seconds and if you're missing the shots because of the poor accuracy of this tank it's very painful and it feels horrible when you're in this thing uh, when you do actually end up missing a shell or, or maybe you only pen two out of the three that you fire and then you've got 40 seconds to effectively deal 600 damage and yeah it is not very nice at all and when you consider the fact that a lot of the other medium tanks have 240 alpha and can reload in about six seconds yeah, they have the DPM advantage over you every single day of the week, and as we've already talked about the armour model of this tank, unless you're looking directly at them on a hill, 
it doesn't really work. And that's why I've had quite a few games in this thing where I just felt so weak comparatively to some of the other mediums where you just felt, well, if I was in a medium tank that didn't have this auto reloading mechanic and had slightly actual okay DPM, then I would have been able to kind of make it work. But this one, it's just not it. And hopefully, although this is a very short video, I don't think we can really explore that much more about the tank since it is just not it. It is not the premium that I thought it might be and so I wouldn't want you spending your money willy-nilly. And so yeah, that is my full review. In terms of if you're wondering, if you're on the fence, don't get this tank. It will not be worth it for you. But if you are 100% guaranteed that you like the auto reloading mechanic and you feel like you can make it work then, you know, drop in the 7,000 gold, but I wouldn't personally if I had to come out of my own gold. Now I hope that this short video for once will actually showcase everything you needed to. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you want the videos to be shorter if I put them at about 7 minutes and we only focus on one replay, each kind of gameplay and tank reviews uh, that we do within this channel. It's up to you guys at the end of the day, you're the ones that have to watch it. So if you think 15 minutes is too long for a tank review, then let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And of course, check out the other gameplay and tank reviews that we've already done on the channel. There's hundreds now. And so, yeah, thank you. And I'll see you there. Goodbye.